The first Terror Raid event has dropped for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go through all of the details in today's video and cover everything that you need to know to take part in this special Terror Raid event. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So the first Terror Raid event that is happening in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet kicks off today, November the 25th, as of recording this video, and will run until November the 27th, which will be be this Sunday so we don't have a long to take advantage of this event just so you know you are gonna have to have an online subscription to take part in these terror raids unfortunately if you don't have an online Nintendo subscription you're not gonna be able to take part in these uh, I don't know why they do that but that is just how it is unfortunately but for those of you that can take part of them these are the details every single terror raid that is available will offer an Eevee they're going to be different levels depending on the star rating of these terror raids you're going to get different level terror raids in your game depending on your progress of your playthrough so if you've completed the game and you've seen the end credits complete all three storylines you're going to have access to five star raids and the level 75 Eevee that will be appearing in those raids if you haven't complete your game the other star ratings will depend on your progress through the game but keep in mind you can still go online and join raids for five star raids even if you're at the beginning of your game with friends or just random people that are hosting them online just bear in mind if you are at the very start of your game it's probably not a good idea to join a raid if you haven't got pokemon of a high enough level to take on say something like a level 75 eevee because it is going to be tough and you're probably going to make it more difficult for your your partner players to take down the raid so it's probably better off just going for something mid-level if you're the very start of your game like a three-star raid you'll probably be able to manage that but who am I to tell you what to do? Here are the details of these raids. No evolutions, just EVs. And we're going to get a 1 star, a 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, 5 star. And the terror type for these EVs is listed as random. So I'm assuming before we go into game that the terror type can be pretty much anything for these special EV spotlight terror raids. The moves that you're going to get on these EVs for the 1 star, you're going to get tackle, tail whip, sand attack, and quick attack. Then for the 2 star, the level. Level 20, you're gonna get Swift, Baby Doll Eyes, Quick Attack, and Tackle. Then 35, you're gonna get the Bite, Swift, Baby Doll Eyes, and Quick Attack. That's for the three star raids. Then for the four star raids, level 45, Charm, Calm Mind, Bite, and Swift. And then the level 75, five star raid, you're gonna get Hyper Voice, Terror Blast bite and swift the item drops are going to be comparable per star raid the lower the star raid the less items and the lower value these items are going to be you're going to get a bunch of candies in here you're going to get ev material and some ev training feathers as well as all of the elemental stones you're going to get the water stone the fire stone thunder stone leaf stone and ice stone so if you get the ev even in a one star raid you're going to get the chance of getting one of these elemental stones potentially in these raids so you can evolve your eevee into one of your chosen evolutions the item drops increase slightly with the two star raids you're going to get berries included this time you're going to get a few more higher priced items as well as those elemental stones just increasing in chances here for getting one in these raids three star raids you're going to get a bigger increased chance of getting the elemental stones and a few more items like a nugget as well as some ev reducing berries and larger candies that are going to be given out the four star raids you're going to get more candies you're going to get ev material as well as the current type terror shard that will be relevant for the terror type that these raids will be you're going to get rare candies in this one as well as those ev reducing berries some more higher cost items as well as the chance to get bottle caps in the four star raid soothe bell as well as the item and an ability capsule as well as the elemental stones and the five star raids are pretty much the same drops as the four star raids you're just going to have slightly increased chances of getting some more of the items than you would in the four star raids so as i say the event itself is running from november the 25th to november the 27th let's hop into game show you how you can access these and what these terror raids will look like okay what you want to do is come online and under mystery gifts you want to come to poke portal news and then you'll get this message when you connect to it you've connected to the internet and received the latest updates about what's going on in the paldea region update the 25th of the 11th at 2 utc so that will update 
all of our dens in the area. You can disconnect from the internet if you'd like because all our dens are populated now. When we go back onto the map now, we should be able to identify some of these special terror raids. And the special terror raids that we're talking about for this EV Spotlight event are gonna look like this. Right here, you can see these terror raids. They have kind of like a ping circle around them. They've got a bit of more of a white glowing aura. These are all indicating that these are the EV Spotlight Dens. You're going to have quite a few of them around the map. You're going to have a few there. And they are all different types. So all random types that you're going to be able to get. We've got a ground one there, a dragon one here. As you say, we've got a psychic one here. We've got a couple of different ones over on this side of the map, a dark one. And we've got a ghost one here. So you've got a lot of options with what you want to do for your Eevee in these terror raid dens. I think we'll go after the dark one. If we can get an Umbrian with the dark terror type, that'd be quite nice. So we can have a little bit more power when we're attacking with it. That's what I would like. Umbrian's my favorite evolution. Let me know yours down below. I'd love to hear but that is the one I'm going to be turning this Eevee into if it does have the dark type in. Although the choices are kind of endless. So you, once you've located the den, you want to just come over to it here and then you can enter it and see what star rating it is. It is a five star terror raid den here with the Eevee. It is the dark type. And just for this video, I'll be doing challenge alone. So let's see how quick we can do this one and let's see what item drops we get. I'm interested to see. We kind of have been through the list so we know Although the five star raids are gonna still be quite tough. Uh, we have a decent Pokemon to kind of go up against these with. And if you're wondering about the strategy that we're using with Iron Hands, the video will be up on the channel after this one, so you can check it out. And it is a strategy to make six star raids as easy as possible. So don't miss that video when it goes up on the channel if you'd like some easier ways to solo raid six star terror raids yourself. There we go, old Iron Hands, gonna be enough to take this Eevee down. And what are we gonna catch it in? I think a Premier Ball is what we're gonna do. I'm kinda sad as well that there's no Herba Mystica drops. I was really hoping for Herba Mystica drops this weekend, uh, but I guess they're gonna save them for the Charizard raid, which will be happening very soon, next week, next week. So uh, the rewards we're gonna get for this Eevee, a careful mint, we're gonna get a Firestone. So do we just evolve it into a Flareon? Let me know down below if you think I should get some large candies which is pretty nice dark terror shards as well which are always handy um pp up rare candy nugget and some more large candies so that is a pretty good haul and this ev should have four perfect ivs as well so that would be pretty nice to have to be able to just hyper train maybe one iv that we need to and then we can evolve it into whatever evolution we decide to. But this event is going to be running the entire weekend, like I say, until the 27th at midnight. So you're going to have plenty of time to take advantage of this. And we can have a look at the stats of this Eevee. And it has, yep, four perfect stats. And if we do want to evolve it into an Umbreon, probably just need to max out that special attack stat, which is brilliant. And then... EV train it and all that good stuff. So there we go. There is the EV Spotlight event, friends. I hope you have fun taking part in it this weekend. It is the first event. If you are planning on doing it online, let me know down below and let me know about your choice of EV and evolution. I love to hear about them all if you are taking part in this event. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.